for Luna. Luna has done what we really wanted Luna to do for the past few weeks. And it's good to see Luna has been just consolidating in these zones as well. Hasn't dumped hard yet, though we can see some kind of divergences coming as well. Can dump, but we really have to be careful here. Take profits and maintain what we want to have in the markets for ourselves. So if we jump into our crypto and greed index, we can clearly see back into extreme fear levels. Fear, fear, fear. That's what we been in at. So nothing good happening here either. So if we look at our 3 months chart, mein, we are having a similar pattern that we discussed yesterday. Now we are dumping into those zones where are very very close to it. 22 is the level and probably that's like about 20. So quite close to it, not that far away right now. So things are looking quite quite bearish for us in the markets. So if we jump into beautiful bubbles right now, aren't looking as beautiful as we would expect. Things are looking quite quite bearish in the bubbles right now. If you zoom in, we can currently see Stacks had a very good upside of about 26%, had a massive upside week, and then it's just been consolidating in the zones. Not much action going on after that. There was massive volume week. So somebody had really bought in big amount of stacks before dumping it hard. Similar situation in AR as well. AR did go up all the way to 37,000, but just been consolidating at 31 at right now. Similar situation for AVAX as well. Market has been pretty sideways, not much action going on from 76, it just went down to 72. So about four dollars difference here and there, a lot of upside and downside going on coins. Major, if we look at here, all the coins are majorly down right now. Not much action going on. So now we look into Luna. Luna, we can clearly see from ninety three dollars went all the way to one hundred and three dollars. We've already made new all time high of about one hundred and four dollars. So we've just been trading in these zones lately and just been figuring out whether we're gonna be staying here or we're gonna be building support elsewhere. We jump into the news. One of the craziest things that I really like today was this jiff here especially and obviously the breaking news right now in the markets is that we had a jump of about 7.9 percent in february largest annual increase since 1982 so that is a massive massive science for us right now especially when it comes to us we had been discussing this clearly that we will be having some kind of hikes coming into march but instead of inflation dropping we're seeing inflation increasing and i think the biggest claw for that has to be the war that's been going on right now so we jump into coin telegraph we can clearly see 40k bitcoin price is in reach but analysts warned that a sweep of recent lows is likely so we look at here there was no rest for wary crypto traders on march 10 as blistering 7.9 cpi print emerged as the headline of the day putting pressure on global financial markets and erasing the previous day's gains in bitcoin as the price fell back below 40,000 that we are trading at right now we jump into this chart specifically and look into what red capital had to say we are in a good lower position right now we haven't broken this trend at all but for us the concern right now is we have to come up to at least 44,000, 46,000 to move higher inside its macro range btc needs to reclaim two key bull market emas to confirm bullish movement which is lying right now at 44 46 thousand respectively unless we see some positive catalyst in the market or a reversal in SOPR indicator we expect sideways trading and possibly a potential dip in price action at least in the shorter term which we are kind of expecting right now as well BDC remains still stuck in the 33,000 45,000 range without any follow through in the next 48 hours a possible break above 45,000 towards 50,000 BTC will probably keep on bouncing in the range. We've been seeing the massive uh, bounce just in this range that we've discussed several times as well, that we're just stuck in these ranges. We need to break above this range to expect something big to be coming in the market. So we jump back right into our charts and see what is happening for BTC right now and other coins as well. Let's jump with AVAX first. So we look at AVAX, we can clearly see that AVAX has been facing massive resistance from this resistance lines we've discussed several times and we are getting that resistance in play as well right now. So we would ideally want to break this resistance, go higher and probably have some, some kind of uh, consolidation phase going on as well. We saw massive bullish divergence as well. Haven't come into play yet because it was just on one hour. One hour is usually do have divergence but they don't really act out all the time sometimes we just have to be patient and wait for it right now we just have to wait and see whether we're going to be holding up this line that is starting from 71 dollars to about this range of 74 dollars haven't been going any upside and the major factor for that also has been this not much volume going on especially in four hour time frames we jump into atom we can clearly see a similar situation as well even in our fifth charts that we are just continuously getting rejected from here and if you look into our technical charts, we can clearly see 
that we are still pretty sideways we did go and make the top that i did expect and even drew here and ever since that we dumped and been just sideways here which is good we are still in a very good um, higher low position we haven't made a lower low so things are still looking okay when it comes to atom if we look into ar we can clearly see ar did have a very good upside did go in the buy zone i did dc a bit of it here otherwise we can see it's been numbing pretty hard right now but another good sign here as well if we zoom out is we are in a very good higher low position so we haven't made a lower low didn't come back yet on the support if we do break below 27 dollars that would be a very very bad sign for us but otherwise it looks all right for now if we jump into ETH, we can clearly see ETH did go and did similar thing as Atom went up all the way to 2775 and then has been facing resistance and still is in a zone that is kind of retesting our 2632 levels. We would ideally want to break these levels above, but right now there's so much part in the market throughout this week. The only thing we've been seeing has been fart. So now we look into BTC, we can clearly see BTC right now is having a very, very massive sell and it's been dumping pretty hard as well as i'm recording this video so we can see we did make this and now i wouldn't want ideally to come down to this support level that will kind of build a uh, head and shoulders in our four time four hour time frames that we wouldn't want to break right now and this could be a very bad sign for us to come back and support these regions or even break lower for us we've been maintaining this range for a few weeks now so ideally we want to carry on in this range and just trade here we don't want to have uh, any lower low in higher time frames and i did i did everybody is waiting for us to break 42 45 47 so we can go somewhere in the 50,000 regions as well otherwise market is quite quite bearish right now even if we look at other indicators especially look at dxy dxy as soon as we get the inflation news dxy start pumping and now we can see a very good upside coming into dxy which is obviously bringing the markets down for us right now even if we try to look at dominances everything is quite negative right now not much action going on this some kind of part and panic as well and obviously we're going to be having an options expiry coming soon but i don't think there'll be a much difference in the options expiry because we never saw a very big upside or a downside this whole past week so we just have to be monitoring the market like i always say monitor take profit and be very very careful while you're taking trades if you look at the tech stocks tech stocks are pretty much all right just because amazon has a very good news right now in the market so amazon has been pumping otherwise all the tech stocks are in pullback as well even gold right now is in a pullback silver us oil and even uk oil natural gas is just been pumping just about a 20 percent so that's not much of an increase so overall markets have become pretty sideways and pretty cautious as well especially after the news coming for inflation that brought us a lot of tensions and stress as well in the markets so we can clearly see that this part is going to carry on throughout the weekend we've already had a very good weekly close past week so we want to see whether this hammer is going to come into place or we're going to break down below the hammer we would ideally want to carry up and have a very good upside coming so now we're into gate.io and we want to see whether we had a very good upside or a downside on our hdv chart so if we go newly listed we can clearly see hdv had an upside of about 139 dollars so we can zoom into the chart as well and see whether it was a good upside not a good upside we didn't have the gains that we were had in some other coins in the last few weeks so about 600 percent 700 percent here we were just settling around 139 percent so that's all right some coins are going to perform some aren't going to perform we had a massive upside here as well but then we had a lot of selling going on here as well even right now if we look into the book the book is quite uh, jam-packed right now there's a lot of orders placed on almost everywhere so we can expect something like that to be happening in this coin good thing is it's still sideways not dumping so we are building some kind of support here right now if we do dump hard that would be a very very bad sign but for now things look okay even if i will zoom out and just look at it in, in one day time frame we can clearly see that we did have that good upside and now we're just consolidating here in in the larger time frames if you do want to get these coins and enjoy these great upsides that we have been showing you on this channel so you don't have to do much just click on the link below and join gate.io if you want you can use my referral link as well that's going to bring you a lot of benefits with it so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tomorrow we're going to be back with a massive nft show so do tune in for that take care guys have a good weekend bye bye